Just before we answer the question of whether the long game is more important than the short game or vice versa, I just want to ask a quick question which I want you to keep a note of just to yourself just now. If you're teamed up with a pro and you're playing against another pro and an amateur and a comparable standard to you, which shots would you want your, your pro to play? Would you want them to play your long shots over 100 yards or would you want them to play your short game shots under 100 yards? Just keep a note of your answer just now and later on in the video we'll come back to this survey question to see whether the data says you are right or wrong. So in this video, just looking at the long game and the short game, um, a lot of this debate at the moment um, has come obviously with a bit of, feels like an obsession with the, the PGA and the RNA um, over over distance and how far the pros are hitting it. And actually the answers have already been given. Um, Mark, Professor Mark Brody, um, Columbia Business School professor and pioneer of the strokes gained uh, Stats method, which is now um, which was adopted in 2011 and is now um, used in the PGA Tour, um, and his brilliant book uh, Every Shot Counts um, has done a lot of analysis on this based on millions of golf, golf shots, and has come to the clear conclusion that the long game explains two thirds of the difference between all standards of player, with the short game only explaining uh, the other third. So whether that's the difference between beginners and skilled amateurs, between amateurs and pros, between average, average pros and the best pros, the, he has proven that the long game, that is uh, driving and approach shots, um, explain two-thirds of the difference between every standard of player. Uh, and it's just, as I say, he's broken it down, comparing 110 golfer to 100 golfer, a 100 scoring golfer to a 90 scoring golfer and a 90 scoring golfer to an 80 scoring golfer and broken it down according to the main four shot categories. And as you can see there, it's consistent that the biggest difference uh, between those standards of player is in driving and approach. Uh, categorized as the long game, that's two thirds of the difference with the rest of the difference, a third coming in the short game of pitching and putting shots within 100 yards. Uh, and this is proven also in the pros, this exact same thing uh, happens there. There's a number of things else that he brings into this uh, uh, to, to highlight his case. And looking at uh, Tiger, obviously, um, as the data came on online in the PGA Tour, uh, looking between 2004 and 2012, uh, Tiger's obviously the uh, the best player in this generation and, and arguably um, a lot of people think he's the best player ever. You can see there against the average PGA field, he gained 2.79 strokes per round. That is per round. The um, And the biggest gain where he got most of that gain from 1.28 strokes out of the 2.79 was from approach shots. Uh, and just to clarify that, approach shots are shots that start outside 100 yards from the hole, excluding tee shots, obviously, from par fours and par fives. Um, and that, I mean, that's just just incredible. And as I say, that, that 2.79 strokes gain he got in the average field was was almost one stroke higher than number two on the list at the, uh, over this period, which was which was Jim Furyk. Um, and then just, just looking at the, that balance compared to his short game, um, he was never ranked outside top the uh, below five in approach shots over that period, and was actually number one in in six out of those years. Um, but by comparison with his short game, he dropped as low as eighty nine, and uh, and actually in that that year he was eighty nine. Eighty ninth was two thousand and five, which was also the year that he won two majors, the the, the Masters and um, uh, the British Open. So. The, uh, it, it seems pretty clear from this analysis that the long game is is the driving force between uh, the differentiators, whether that's amateurs, and as even can see there for the pros, uh, Tiger himself, the approach shots was the key part of his long game that uh, that gave him such an advantage over the others. And and it's funny when you when when you start looking at this, the um, the more often that you see different players. Uh, different players agreeing with this. And it's interesting. McElroy said um, a bit earlier on in his career, actually, now of, of when 
the um, but uh, as he started to win major championships, he said, I don't care what anyone says about the short game be, being the most important. It's not. The long game puts you in a position to have putts to win tournaments. Guys say you have to have a short game to win tournaments, and it is not the case, not at all. And following on, um, I'd heard that comment from McElroy and obviously Jack Nicholas, the we were talking about Tiger Woods, the other player in the um, in the conversation for the greatest of all time, Nicholas. His comment when hearing uh, what McElroy said was, I agree with Rory. In fact, it was me who told him so uh, in the first place. Um, I told Rory that I never practiced my short game because I felt like if I can hit 15 greens around, a couple of par fives and two, and if I can make all my putts inside 10 feet, who cares where I chip it? And if we, do, we just come back to our, our, our survey question in terms of when we asked if you were playing against uh, teaming up with a pro and playing against an amateur of a, a comparable standard to you, would you get the pro uh, if you had the choice to play your long game shots all your, or your drives and approach shots, or would you want them to play all your short game shots, uh, shots within 100 yards? And Mark Brody has again has done a simulation of this and, and here are the results, and once again, they are clear um, that if you teamed up with the with the pro to play your long game shots, then you are going to win the game. The um, the differences are uh, the amount of shots difference is difference according to the standard of of amateur player, as we can see there. Um, but the simulation is absolutely clear based on um, thousands and thousands of amateur golf shots and pro shots that. Uh, if you've chosen to play with the pro playing your long game, you are going to win over um, uh, the amateur who's chosen the pro to play short game shots. So what what's the point of, of talking about all this? I, I promise it is not in terms of to get everyone worked up over which is the which is the more important the long game, the short game. These are must remember are, are averages and they don't apply to every amateur, every pro every time these are these are averages and the main point is just it's not to show that that putting is not important it's just to try and make sure that when you're working on your game you're working on on the correct things so basing it on on stats uh and analysis of your game rather than a per, your own perception of your game after you come off the 18th or unconventional wisdoms that are floating around uh, the clubhouse and on the golfing world as I say, it's just vital to look at your game in detail, analyse where you're going to get the most improvements based on your game. There's no question in terms of we're all busy, we don't have time to, to spend hours on the range, potentially improving our long game to make those step changes uh, which are needed uh, to take advantage of, of the gains that can come from the long game. The quickest and easiest way to get your scores down is undoubtedly the short game. In terms of honing that, getting rid of three putts, etc., working in your pitching and putting, it is the quickest way. It's the short game in the short term to get your scores to get your scores down. It's just in terms of the point of if you're looking to make real step changes in your scoring and make come down five, maybe even ten strokes, you're not going to be able to do that without a big big improvement in your long game, and unfortunately. Based on on distance, there is a ceiling to how much you'll be able to improve, uh, based on how far you can hit the ball. The shorter the course you play on, the less that that less that matters, obviously. So, in terms if you're playing in a shorter course, the um, that's great, and in terms of having a better short game, will will bring you closer to to the better players because it's the the long game's not as a differentiator. However, as you play on longer courses, the importance of the long game becomes becomes more important um, and so that 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 really is what we wanted to try and get across in this video hope it was helpful um, if you liked it please give, please give us a like let us know in the comments whether you agree the long game the short game is is more important and thanks for watching and enjoy your golf